So, for most of the past year, I've mostly been playing the Bunker Missions in Star Citizen, as well as checking out the new salvage and racing mechanics and the various points of interest that have been added to the game. I'm making it a theme next year to try and do a bit more variety in missions as I may be missing out on some big bucks when it comes to some of the new mission mechanics. Ghost Hollow being a perfect example of a new mission mechanic that I rarely do, but always really enjoy when I put the effort in to get there. But a big part of the heart of this game is its infantry combat, and I for one am officially a massive fan of the FPS implementation. In its current limited form, it's still an adrenaline rush when the server tick rate is decent and NPCs pose an actual threat. Or when you come up against an enemy player and have to try and take them down. We ask questions of time to kill being imperfect and um, which I'd agree with, and we can be annoyed when server issues degrade the experience, but I'm pretty fucking excited for CIG to continue iterating on the current shooter experience, especially with the addition of the new Blacklight style scanning system that will be coming in the next year. Bunkers in Star Citizen as of the time I'm making this video a hell of fun again. With the release of 3.22 the NPC guards are no longer popping through the ground at least and at least provide some reasonable support for you as you try and like, clear your targets. They're all equipped with the Gemini LH86 which happens to be one of my favourite sidearms anyways but um, it's only been made more cool by adding the fully automatic function to it, basically, which you can activate by pressing the B button with it equipped. So it's a good idea to bring some extra ammunition for that gun, just in case you lose your weapon, you can pick up another sidearm and yeah, use it to complete the mission. I don't know exactly why CIG have chosen to remove some of the armoured guards and replace them with dudes in standard security armour. I don't know if that's just the Art Corp specifically. But um, they will generally die off quite quickly and you end up with a few spare guns to pick up. As I mentioned, CIG continues to iterate on the NPC characters and I will say Oh, all the chatter you hear from the guards and the nine tails really helps build the tension as you're sneaking or running around bunkers. It does feel like this particular aspect of the game has never been so polished. It gives me high hopes for the coming year and it's a really great note for CIG to end what's been a trying year hope everyone has an amazing holiday season and yeah just watching peace